enjoying the view? Eh, hard to do these days. It's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Eh, I'll bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spend some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Bruce Wayne picked himself up once. He could do it again. Yeah, he certainly showed us that much, didn't he? You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. <laughs> the land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. If this leak pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. She puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing. And I mean nothing to get her man. We all need to draw a line somewhere. It's what separates us from the scum we're trying to catch. I'm glad to hear you say that. The thing with Waller is her line's real blurry. Sometimes you can't see it at all. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Now that there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. I don't want Waller involved. You and I can handle Riddler. Just like it's always been. Glad to see we're on the same page. We gotta watch out for her. She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll grab a car and meet you at Riddler's hideout. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come back. Kept Waller and her agency people out of the loop on this. It's just the two of us. We can handle this without her. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Then how do we get out? We go in. After you. And give me a good, honest crack house any day. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. The man bit his tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock. Or a sudden jolt. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. 
We saw this before. The victim in the casino. One shoe was missing. The sole of the other one's almost completely melted through. Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers. Safes with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. Answer in one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Metal mesh lining the walls. Riddler has converted this entire place into a giant Faraday cage. Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Prototype of the trap he used on Mori. The armor, extremely sturdy. Ensuring there's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. This is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. The glass. It's polarized. So it is. It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. You won't budge. It must be locked in place. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? That's an agency issue pistol. Packs a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. Take a look at this. Huh. Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A 
chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll find... I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now, how is that for motivation? Screw you! He had the agent bound while he beat him. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Hold up, Batman. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. One shoe melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. Uh, just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues, they don't see eye to eye. Apparently they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. Lori, he sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Maury for a while now. She must have known. Hmm. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. If this door were closed, the portal would be looking right at those monitors. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. Agent woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. 
The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beeline for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers. And there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes. Mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Don't worry, Jim. I'm not going to lose this game. I'm not so sure. But if you say a thing, you usually do it. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Ah, damn it. They're still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. What the hell? That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? <laughs> the riddle! Use it to open the savings! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! <laughs> God, whatever's in that safe better be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Mori sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up. Turn yourself in while you still have a chance. Don't say stupid things, okay? 
Not when you've just started earning my respect. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. We'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government scum in your corner. They're no friends of mine. No, they're not. They'll smile to your face to get what they want. The Agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The Agency made me. Okay, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. If you're trying to manipulate me, it's not working. <laughs> I'm not trying to get in your head. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. You shouldn't have said his name, Riddler. I'll make you pay for what happened to Lucius. That must be the guilt talking. After all, the poor man's death is on you. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency, smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower... You gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? I'd tell you if I could, Jim. Now it's like that, huh? As I said, if I could. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you... It doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? You are your own man, Jim. You'll come to your own decision. I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. Oh, to hell with it. I never heard what I heard in there. All right? Batman. Uh, I'll be waiting to hear from you.
I heard your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. Now he knows that Lucius Fox and the Batman are, were, allies. Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he react. He looked me straight in the eye, Alfred. He's been our friend a long time. He deserves to know. I understand that, Bruce, but he's still too close for comfort. I'm sorry, but he is. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a launch signal. Dear God! You did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. With Lucius gone, we need to find someone to take over his role. No one could ever fill his shoes. But, but you're right. Between the Lady Arkham affair and losing Lucius in this gruesome fashion, it's clear we're up against a new class of criminal. This war of ours, it may be too much for us on our own. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop. He plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. Their cell phones. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives. And he can broadcast his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike. Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes. It's the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. You are a rock, Alfred. I'm always able to count on you, huh? Even in the toughest times. The last thing I want to do is let you down. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking about? What? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. He knew he was going to die. Oh. Can you switch to audio only, please? Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius? We really made a difference, didn't we? That man? Uh... I, uh, I, sh I shouldn't have watched this. I'll... Uh, I'll go get that tea, Master Bruce. All right. Now I just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal. 
and then match up the points found in both sound files. Bruce? Bruce! The waveforms match. Tiffany. Tiffany. That's a match. There. I've piggybacked onto Riddler's cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating a launch. Makes sense for me to have the signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. But with the signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact? What is it? That John guy, from the funeral, from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Mori, huh? John thinks that Mori can get us Riddler's location. Do you believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Mori's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach. Peer to peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. On the other hand, Riddler's lieutenant. Eli Nabel. Took a go at me in the casino. Put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical. Certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. Me with Maury. I'm sure Bruce Wayne can find a way to reason with him. Waller's people are here, watching Mori. Riddler's agency data should make him easy to tag. I need you to keep an eye on him for me. Maybe cause a distraction if I need it. They're following his every move. Gotta be careful here.
All this attention must be annoying to a man like Mori. I see them. All of these agents were on Riddler's list. Even without access to their phones, he'll still try to kill them all somehow. Do whatever it takes to find him, Bruce. I never want to see another video like the one with Lucius. No time to waste. Mr. Wayne, to what do we owe this honor? Good evening, Mr. Mori. I've come to talk. Your visit is unexpected, Mr. Wayne. What can I do for you? A private matter between friends. There's something you can help me with, Mr. Mori. It's a matter of some importance. I doubt I can do much. The authorities are watching my every move. Apparently, I'm a person of interest. There's really not much I can offer you other than a drink and a seat at the roulette wheel. Not while I'm being shadowed. We need privacy. Lose the agents. Done. They just got an order to sweep the perimeter. Should give you a couple of minutes at least. Impressive, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> we haven't even scratched the surface. What can I do for you? Information. About the Riddler. Why would I do that? We are on the same side of this, Mori. I was here in the casino that night. I saw what he did to you. It's only a matter of time before he comes at you again. Maybe you're right. I dealt with that maniac. It's true. But I was done after the first delivery. Riddler wanted more. Everything he could get his hands on. He even wanted me to hand over one of my biotech companies. I said no. That's why he attacked you. You have no idea how crazy he is. I only wish I had known it sooner. An arms dealer with a sudden bout of conscience. He scared me. I was afraid he'd use my goods in the city. After the explosion at Wayne Enterprises, it turns out I was right. I want you to know, I had no idea the Riddler had marked you as a target. I knew your father back when he was running Gotham. Our interests often aligned. I would never dishonor his memory. He was a friend, truly one of a kind. Then you owe me, for my father's sake. <laughs> that was a long time ago, and favors go both ways. I can help you find the Riddler, Mr. Wayne. I sold him the missile array he's using to pick off his enemies. He won't be very far from it. Everything you need to find him is on that drive. But I need a favor from you first. A favor? Walla has me detained here pending Riddler's trial. She controls all my accounts. I need to get out of the country, and in all haste. You can help with that. Otherwise, I fear my fate is a short, miserable life in a black prison. I could do that for you. I knew I could count on your friendship. A chartered plane waits for me at the airport. The pilot will fly me to a safe haven in the Caribbean for the right price. All you have to do is authorize a transfer. You don't want me as an enemy, Mr. Wayne. Our agency friends will be back any second. Let's handle this quickly and without disturbance. No deal. This could have been a lot easier for you, Mori. You should kill me, Wayne, because I won't forget! Bruce, Wallace agents are converging. Hurry up and get out of there. Alfred, I've sent you Mori's information. Find me what I need, fast.
men on board. This must be it. Be careful, Bruce. Who knows what the Riddler has up his sleeve? This is all in aid of. You agency imbeciles really thought you couldn't stand me. You and your boss, Waller. A good spot for cover. She's about to regret her miscalculations. All your idiot colleagues, too. Getting we found him. Individuals for institutions. Moria's information turned out to be accurate. A history of no sight of the missiles yet, though. They must be here somewhere. Been on my heels far too long. I'll give it to you. You're relentless. I'll admit it's going to feel satisfying to get my revenge. Hostages. They appear to be more of Waller's agents. Really just a small part of my plan. What are you talking about? You'll see what I mean soon. They might be angry I brought you here, but when they understand why, they'll recognize my brilliance. <laughs> After all, I am uniquely qualified to see the big picture. It's Wait for a struggle, it. Making people see that. You think? I'm sure you can understand. Don't want him raising an alarm. I I'll get move it. when he isn't looking. Sometimes my methods can appear a little unorthodox. <laughs> Careful. I know. this on yourselves. All of you. You government clods really thought you were smarter than me. What? It's clear you're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online now. Ready, Bruce. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Oversized vermin! Batman! Batman! Agent Avesta. The floor! It's heating up! I've memorized your playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Maury was incapable of learning his lesson. I knew he'd lead you to me eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. 
I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Mori. Don't think my compassion means I won't hurt you. Don't think I won't beat you within an inch of your life. Hard to do that when you're in a cage. Even harder when you're dead. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. Gotham's champion of justice will die in an unfair puzzle. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! Ask your questions, Riddler. Let's get this over with. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd cooperate. But I don't think the agent next to you shares your enthusiasm. You can handle the sonic blasts. But her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure, kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die. I'll... Lucius. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Lucius Fox. Very good, Batman. You saved a life. But... Thank you. Batman, don't answer any more of his questions. No, Blake. I won't let you die. Number two. Also, completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. Say it. Don't you dare answer that! Please, don't let him die! Avesta. The answer is Agent Avesta. You got it, Batman! Ha. Here's your prize! Oh my god! Iman! What have you done? Enough, Riddler. You've made your point. Just one more, Batman. Then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. Missiles. Use the bad cam to make it target the cage. And use Riddler's trap to protect Iman and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed, ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? Definitely not you. What are you doing?
impossible. You, you think you're clever, don't you? You, you don't imp Who's the man who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman. Can't be happening. God, I, I didn't think, I didn't think we were going to make it. I, I thought... You put yourself on the line for your friends. You saved them. Agent, are you okay? My ears! I can't hear! Riddler will pay for this. I'll rip his smarmy head off his shoulders. It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Well, congratulations, Batman. You managed even in my twisted game to keep everyone alive. But at what cost? Agent Avestus suffered. So no one had to die. That can't sit well with you. Can it? I did what I had to. To save Gotham from you. Believe me, I have no regrets. Give it some time. All the pain Agent Avestus suffered. For you. See how well you sleep at night. I made you hurt an innocent woman to get to me. <laughs> oh, my comrades would have been impressed. I set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They betrayed me. You need better friends. The term thick as thieves. It's a lie. I need smarter friends. They're all so small-minded. None of them had vision. Unless... Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. They... Uh, they broke the pact. 
The pact. Lock the ship down, and radio for more medics. But... Riddler, is he... Oh, god damn it. Oh, this isn't good, Batman. The investigation is a dead end without a breathing suspect. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble. I have no idea how we're getting out of it. Don't worry about it, Jim. How am I not gonna worry? Oh, Waller is gonna come down on us like a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? I'm the whole goddamn hurricane. I'm about to blow both your asses off the side of this ship. This is a goddamn mess. Agent Avesta is deaf. Riddler is dead. And I don't know exactly how, but I know you tampered with my suspect at the casino. Unless you expect me to believe that Maury's new neck brace is a fashion statement. Batman is clearly being misused as an asset to the GCPD. I'm taking direct control of law enforcement in Gotham, effective immediately. What? Gordon, you're being relieved of your stars. Bumped down to deputy ops. You can't demote me. I just did. Gordon's been fighting the good fight for years. You're delusional if you think you can solve all our problems. You're the ones who are deluded. You're so busy gazing into each other's eyes, you can't see the big picture. Take some vacation days, Gordon. I've got sensitive case details to discuss with Batman. We're still in this together, Batman. This doesn't change a thing. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. There's a guy. Calls himself John Doe. He's either a member, or he knows who is. That confirms some theories we had. Doe's a one-time patient of another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne.